this week has been so crazy. Let me just start off by saying I am so glad I'm home. Okay, there. I said it. So on Sunday, I, so not yesterday Sunday, but last week Sunday, I spoke for my very last fireside in Utah, and it was cool. It was cool because the building was actually really small, so the space was extremely limited, but the building was awesome. Open with caution. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. <laughs> I think this building was an original from Brigham Young days. Yeah, and it's the coolest building ever. <laughs> hey, who else do we have? Where are you from? This building was built in the early 1920s, and it's the second building that the 8th Ward had. As you can see, we have original uh, paintings, stained glass, and we have cry rooms for the babies that don't exist in the churches anymore. And it's one of the original 19 wards that was set up here in the valley by Brigham Young. There's no ward older than the eighth ward of the church. I thought that was really awesome that it could be my last Utah location for the year was a, an original Brigham Young building, right? <laughs> okay, I have a lot of other updates that happened this week, like uh, I did some modeling this week. And I also signed 23 boxes of books, but I'm gonna talk about that in next week's vlog when I have more information on both of those. So stay tuned, okay? Okay, also I got my hair did and I'm only making a big deal out of it for this week's vlog because I get asked this all the time. All the time. <laughs> and so I am making this a little bit longer than I should be to talk about my hair just to answer all of your questions that I get all the time. So if you don't care about it, I'm gonna write in the description where my trip starts so you can just skip to that part, okay? <laughs> How do we show a good before picture? Is it two uh... clips? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. This is before. Alfox's hair is actually really easy. We go through and we just do a full head of highlights and just get her as blonde as we can. But we do more baby lights, which are just really thin pieces just so we can get her super blonde. And then we tone at the end to give her kind of that white. The gray tone. Gray look. This is good luck because I cut the foils previously. And we it was perfect it. amount of numbers. Yes, that means our hair is going to be awesome. That is good luck. Yeah, it is good luck. How I mean, often does that chances? happen? Like one out of a hundred. For real? Yeah. <gasps> we are walking to get a Kiva juice. Kiva! <laughs> is it already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we rinsed out the dye. And then she just did the toner, the gray toner. So you do the hair the color you want, right? And then yes. the gray is actually the toner that you put on after it. Does this yes. sound accurate? Yes. Do you want to change your own it? Words? It changes the shade of the blonde to whatever toner you put on. Oh my gosh, it looks so much better. It does look Ooh, good. Look at this. Now I don't have like black anymore. Okay, if you want gray hair, you have to get purple shampoo because if you don't have purple shampoo, then you might as well have just never dyed your hair gray. Use your purple shampoo, wash your hair as soon as you get in with your shampoo, put your conditioner in as soon as you can once you're in the shower because you're gonna want your conditioner on your hair for as long as possible. So put your conditioner in and then wash up with soap and do your shaving, <laughs> do your shaving, and everything that you need to do in the shower while this is sitting in your hair. And then as soon as you're ready to get out, that's when you rinse it. So when my hair is drenched, like soaking wet, I already put this in, um, put leave-in conditioner in. This is the kind that I use. I use dry shampoo on clean hair because it does better to volumize and to keep my curls better than any hairspray to ever exist. I use the cheapest, Thing. I've had this thing for like four years. I've tried to get really nice and expensive ones and they've all broke. And this guy was probably like 10 bucks at Walmart and it's lasted me forever, so whatever. Make it so you're curling away from the face and like that's it. After you curl it, if you scratch it, it gives it more volume instead of having it be weighed down. So if you curl it, when you let go, just give it a little scratch and you see how it automatically like set, like your hair set uh, higher. Easiest tutorial ever, right? 
dry shampoo. And then I spoke in St. Louis, Missouri. You're leaving on an airplane. <laughs> Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Hey Gracie, guess what? What? Chicken butt. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Mommy kiss. I love you. Oh, I'm gonna see. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I love you. Mwah. I can't reach. Hey, I love you. Love you too. Bye. 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 So this is always the really fun part because you don't know who's picking you up and you just hope that the person waving at you is the right person and that they're not going to murder you. <laughs> But I'm making them take me to dinner anyways. <laughs> okay. No, we had to eat dinner. That was kind of a selfish Okay, okay. so the um, place that we were going to go is closed. I figured, I actually yeah. thought but that. There's another place that is only here oh. that is like. It's crazy. It is a weird place. I can do and weird. It's got giant portions, so. There was a tornado over in St. Louis. Uh, During the talk? While you were shaking hands, so we were watching the weather pretty closely. There's For a real? tornado watch where we are right now. <gasps> if there's a warning, then we'll have to go towards that brick wall right there, away from Go the in the bathroom, probably. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. This is Midwest. We're in I don't know what that alley. means. We're in Tornado, we're in tornado alley. alley. But what happens if it comes? Does it, like, if, is if, it destruction? If a tornado warning, the sirens all go on outside. The, all the phones will start buzzing. So here's where we are, that blue dot right there. This line of storms is coming, kind of coming up this way. <gasps> That's so scary. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine, right? 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 <laughs> the lights are flickering on and off. I'm Batman. I'm Batman girl. You're Batman girl? Yeah. Who are you, Christian? Batman boy. And it was the craziest thing because there's a tornado that happened while I was speaking. Like, what the heck? Like, what the heck? And then there's another one heading our way. And so when they were driving me to my hotel, when I was checking in to get my room key, they were telling me what I needed to do for the uh, at the hotel where I needed to go if it was going to hit like right there and it was wild. That was definitely a first experience for me. <laughs> Good morning, mommy. Say see you soon, love you. I love you soon. <laughs> top of the arch you have just like these little windows to look out of 
Is this the Mississippi? Yeah, this is the ugly stuff. Which we were just in. This is definitely not something you want to do if you are claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, or afraid of crowds. Yeah, I like going down. I like this side better. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's this one, I don't have kids do this. Put one hand in your head. Like you're on a flight. Stand on one foot, bounce up and down and sing, I want to be a junior ranger. Use your right hand. Say, I promise. I promise. To only use. To only use. My super secret junior ranger powers. My super secret junior ranger powers. For the cause of good. For the cause of good. Da da da! <laughs> You're a junior ranger! You did it! <laughs> I want to be a junior ranger. What was that? <laughs> I want to be a junior ranger. You got it. There you go. <laughs> this trip only because of me flying home and like the catastrophe at the airport this was just crazy I was supposed to board my plane at 12 Utah time which means I was at the airport at 11 Utah time my flight got delayed three times so I was at the airport for a really long time and then they finally canceled it our plane was coming from Minneapolis and they're under critical uh, condition for snow. So our plane never left to come get us. So it was canceled. And I had to wait in a line to talk to one guy at a desk to see what Delta can do for me, which was like another hour. After about like four hours at the airport, I found out they just can't do anything for me because it's weather related. I couldn't get a hotel and I they weren't gonna fly me out until Monday and they can't transfer me because it's weather related. I needed to be home that night. I have so much going on just Saturday night even coming right off the airport. Let alone Sunday. Like my Sunday was even more packed. Like staying just wasn't an option for me and I'm so tired and I'm so tired and I'm so frustrated because it's four hours and all I'm hearing is that I'm not gonna go home for another two days and I'm just at the airport and I started crying and of course it's the second I started crying I get a tap on my shoulder and it was someone who recognized me and they wanted to say hi and I turn around and I'm just like bawling <laughs> How's that for a first impression? <laughs> All of the Delta flights for Salt Lake tomorrow are completely booked and they said that they couldn't get me home until Monday. So we had to buy a whole new ticket because they can't refund or transfer because it's all due to weather, which they do not cover. So now I'm waiting on a train to go to another part of the airport and had to buy a brand new ticket to fly me out out of a different airline. This is the craziest flight of my life. All I want to do is just cry. I just want to go home to my kids. They really don't make it easy to switch airlines at this airport. I am going on a wild goose chase to get to another terminal. So I switched airlines. Uh, now I'll be flying to Vegas and then to Salt Lake. But now my Vegas flight, my new one that I just got, <laughs> is delayed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> I'm literally just sitting on the floor. <laughs> I feel like I could either laugh or cry and I think I'm so tired. <laughs> I think I'm too tired to cry. 
<laughs> so I didn't get home until almost 12 hours after I was at the airport. I did end up getting home that night. It was a miracle. A miracle due to really amazing, amazing family I met in St. Louis. I wouldn't be actually home right now if it weren't for them, let alone home two days ago. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, come on. What a, what a ride, huh? Yeah, what a day. I'm sorry, honey. Oh my gosh, it's okay. I'm sorry I'm late, too. <laughs> I know. No 20 minutes there, late, right? right here. 20 minutes late. Kids are out. We made it to Sunday. We are here. We are together. Carmen? We are all in one piece, and Christian refuses to take this Batman hat off. You can say we're all doing really well. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe for new videos every Monday. I'll go ahead and start the music. Do you want to start the music? We'll go ahead and get into this week's message and montage. You guys are courageous, real, strong, loved, and noticed. I just watched some of you cry tears that needed to be cried. Some laugh, some long overdue laughs. I watched some of you step foot into a church for the first time in a long time. I connected with so many who had no words to speak, just a tight grasp hug. I saw chains broken, promises made, weight lifted, determination renewed, revelation received, hope refilled, and souls strengthened, all because of the power of the Spirit and the reality of Christ. And you know, I think Satan gets really scared when a bunch of spirit-filled saints get together with our different levels of effort to simply try to become better and turn to the Savior. So, to the thousands of you that came this week to laugh, cry, and hug, thank you. I love you. I am strengthened because of you. I felt the spirit because of you. I need you. The world needs you. God needs you. This is real. God is real. And we totally got this.